So, coming to you with the news that everyone will be excited about, all Newcastle fans will be happy about. Uh, you know I am. Um, if if it comes true, that's the problem. We have to be cautious because we don't know. We've had lots of news of takeovers before and everyone wants Mike Ashley to leave. But, I mean, now the club seems fairly stable and now would be a great time if we could get a rich... Uh, a rich owner from the Middle East with lots of oil money, or anywhere with lots of money, Chinese, doesn't matter. But um, the man Sheikh Khalid, a distant cousin of uh, Sheikh Mansour, from Man the owner of Man City, seems to be interested, and in they apparently are in talks now. And uh, his group, the Bin Zayed group, have been in contact with Mike Ashley in talks to... Uh, to purchase the club so this will be exciting to see how it, how it actually works out and uh, uh, I just see a article from the Financial Times now because people were saying ooh might not be real because they just had a story from uh, the Sun because obviously the Sun is not the most credible they, they say ooh Manchester every year Manchester United are gonna sign this player, they're gonna sign every player. They're gonna sign Ronaldo and Messi uh, all together and Mbappe at the same time. You know, no one knows. And now apparently Newcastle are gonna sign Mbappe. M Mbappe, Mbappe, yeah. I can't remember what I was saying. Um, I know I thought I said Mbappe wrong. Never mind. Um, so for three hundred fifty million seems to be the deal. Uh, so. And Amanda Stavely seems to be somewhat uh, linked to this, whether she's su she's uh, suggesting to uh, the Bin Zayed group or uh, Sheikh Khalid to back purchase Newcastle. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest, what, what role she'll play in it. I'm not sure where we actually want her to play a role in it or not, you know, whether that is actually beneficial. So we need to see that he actually has proof proof of the money because when he tried to buy Liverpool, which was asking for two billion, I think the valuation of Liverpool when he wanted to buy them last year, um, he, it ended up falling apart and he didn't actually prove any money. Or there's been some different reports going on about these different things. So whether he actually was gonna go through but anyway that deal fell apart so we need more concrete uh you know more concrete uh, pr proof of uh him having we don't know how much money this guy has he's not as rich as uh his distant cousin Sheikh Mansour from Man City the Man City owner so uh, even if he does take over Newcastle aren't gonna be the next Man City but they could still be challenging for Europe and who knows top four. <laughs> Hopefully, if 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 that happens, I think I think if challenging for Europa would be would be enough of a dream for us. A ch challenge for Champions League would be out of this world, you know. That that's not where Newcastle have been for a long time. It was like when I was a baby or whatever. We 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 came second in like the nineties. You know, what was it, 94, 95? 95, I think. I, I'm not sure. You know, I was very young, so I don't really remember. I don't remember. I wasn't alive. But yeah, so this is exciting times for all the Newcastle fans. So we'll see what Sheikh Khalid has to say. And obviously, our summer transfer targets are going to be significantly improved. We're not going to be looking at Danny Welbeck. Or uh, what other players were we supposed to? Fernando Torres. We won't be looking at players like that. But we'll be able to look a little bit more exciting. Some younger players, some some future stars. That's what I would like to see the club go out and do. Even if we don't get a new, a new uh, super new owner, I would like to see like Martin Erdegaard. Is the name? Oh, yeah, we're gonna sign Matthias De Ligt now. For 80 million euros, 80 million pound. Now he's not going to uh, Barcelona, he's coming to Newcastle, the real team. 
who knows? I think you would want to go to a Champions League team personally. But uh, you know, it's all fun and games. We can all dream of Mbappe and De Ligt and all these players coming to Newcastle, especially more now, if we have a new owner. But let's see, this would be the great greatest start to a season, the greatest the most interesting transfer window if we did get a new owner to see see what we could really do with some you know, give Hopefully Raphael sign and then he can get some players and see what he can do with them. He's done see what he's done with a limited budget. Be interesting to see. But on the other hand, you had a team like Fulham who spent a hundred million. Uh who didn't seem to to do anything. They didn't buy very good players though. I believe Newcastle has seen have a much better scouting system. Uh, we have a much better scouting system, hence buying players like Chef. Uh, Fabian Scher for uh, three and a half million from a, uh, what was it, Deportivo do you come from? You know, we've always had a good eye for a bargain, so, but that's because we had to under Ashley, but either way, I think the club will be fine, but uh, if we can go, if we can get a new owner, this new owner, then, you know, the sky's the limit. Champions League, Premier League, uh, everything. Even so, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, but let's see what happens in the coming days. Hopefully it doesn't fizzle out and then we're just left with nothing. Like, every year there seems to be a takeover. It's like, oh my god, we're going to get a takeover. And I, I can't remember there being this much excitement about it, though. But equally, I think we still need to know more about it before we can get too excited. You know, it's been, what, 12 years on there, actually? Maybe longer, 2007, maybe. Um, but let's see. Let's wait and see what happens. Hopefully something good.